After discovering the secret of the watching stones of Ramas de Luan, Coronair sent us into the eastern reaches of Engmar, seeking the rangers in Hilton of Argyll, who had marched forth to throw down the rising power of Engmar. I have found the ranger Bragier at the dwarf outpost of Gablis Shathur in Melanad. Garthforthner lies somewhere far to the north of Gablis Shathur. Bragir has sent us to find and lend aid to the survivors of Gladir's company at the encampment of Gothforth. The road goes ever, ever on. I had thought no one would ever be able to cross Ramastelion, and yet, here you are. You have come from Corinir by way of Bragia. Welcome, then, and well met. Indeed, we could use your aid. These last few years have seen us nearly vanquished, but it is not for me to tell you of our woes. You should enter within and speak with Lorniel, Golodir's daughter. I'm on my way, immediately. Loriel is convinced that her father, Gullodir, is alive. I am not so sure. It's a fine sight to see a fresh face here! I thank you, thank you. Beware the Nimue, friend. They have been enslaved for so long that all that was good in them is no more. You must be Lorniel. Once my father is found and freed, the Iron Crown shall be toppled. I do not believe good fortune alone brings you hither, my good man. Come, we have much to speak about. If you come from Bragia, I have no doubt you heard that my father was lost. He was indeed lost to us, but I do not believe he was slain. I have heard reports from our allies that he was taken captive and is being held within the dungeons of Kandu. One such ally, a sympathetic hillman from the hostile eastern tribes named Ragnar, claims that he has acquired a scroll from the libraries of Kandu that tells how to gain access to the city. If you would meet Ragnar, and obtain the scroll from him. It would be a tremendous step towards freeing my father from the clutches of the enemy. Be wary, though. He will be waiting just south of Bel Kathanak, a hillman village which lies to the southwest of Garthforthner. Most of the hillmen there are in the service of the Iron Crown. I am on my way. This must be the eastern hillmen village that Loriel talked about. Hail! Ragnar! You were sent here by the woman from the south. Here, take this scroll. My people are suspicious. I must go at once. The Morval has seen you. I must flee. Did 
you find Raganol? Ah, that must be the scroll he told of. Let me see it. Stay a moment. I fear we may have been deceived, Trevian, for this scroll is written in black speech and may say nothing of value. I cannot say, for black speech is not a tongue with which I am familiar. Even so, I would know what this says. Perhaps the Elf Laerdin may have some proficiency in this writing. He is an old friend of my father's, and is here in Gothfuth. <laughs> Take the scroll to him, and ask him his opinion. If it may help us free my father, then we must learn its secrets at once. I have been friends with Gulladir for many years and have known of his exploits longer. I know he lives. Alas! But I have never taken the time to learn the cruel mutterings of the orcs. I have no desire to speak with them, by any means save my sword. If this scroll did indeed come from Khandun, Elrond Half-Elven may have an interest in it. And he assuredly knows the black speech. Go to Rivendell and seek out the master of the last homely house, if you would know the answer. This? You are sent by the daughter of Gulladir and by the elf Laerdan. What a strange fate has brought you hither. A shadow of Engmar has grown with a shadow in the east. Give me the scroll. I will unravel this mystery for you. Lorniel's hopes were not wholly in vain, for the scroll does indeed reveal a way to pass the gates of Khan Doom. The scroll tells of a special key needed. Forged of a dire black iron found only in the foul pits of Engmar, and the secrets of its crafting. I do believe such a key could be made of Mithril, for the strength of Moria Silver may overcome whatever resistance the lock may give. Unfortunately, we have not Mithril to use. Perhaps you should seek the aid of Lord Dwalin at Thorin's Hall in Ered Lubin. The dwarves know best the secrets of Mithril. It is they you should speak with. I have transcribed the contents of the scroll in Westron. The dwarves should have no difficulty reading it. Thank you, Elrond. I'll be on my way. Greetings, man! You have come from Elrond of Rivendell? Then you will have the aid of Durin's folk. Let me see that scroll. That we can forge this key, I have no doubt. There are some items we will need before we can begin. Master Elrond's instructions say that we need Mithril, 
but there is none to be had in the Blue Mountains. Also, we will need something to cast a mold from. I know one of the gifts Bilbo took back from the Lonely Mountain was a nugget of mithril. I doubt he understood its value, so he probably left it behind when he returned to Rivendell. However, he may have given it to the Matham House in Mickledelvin. Perhaps the Keeper of the Matham House can help you with that. As for the casting, at least Spider-Bane sent word that the Archit Guards found a ruined key among the bodies of the Black Wolves. John Brackenbrook may still have it. If their leader was from Ingmar, as I have heard, it may be that key is just what we need to cast the mold. Thank you for the information. I'll be on my way now. can I do for you? A mithril nugget? Never heard of it! Oh, you mean that chunk of silver old Bilbo brought back from his adventures? I thought it was too light for real silver. Well, it must have little value then, and I don't see why we should keep it. You're quite welcome to take it. Here. Alright. That's about all we'll be doing here in the Shire. It's best we keep going towards Bree and then to arch it. Greetings, friend. What may I help you with? You say you have come all the way from the Blue Mountains to retrieve that old ruined key we found among the Blackwold's belongings. It is true that it was found among things we believe were Calder Cobbs, which is the only reason I kept it. It's quite useless. Here, may it assist you in your endeavors. Now that we have all the materials, we can hopefully make our way back to the Blue Mountains and get this key molded. Ah, I was right. The hobbits did indeed have Bilbo's nugget. I hope you didn't have to hurt anyone to get it. Foxtail didn't even know what it was. Well, <laughs> it should be no surprise to me. A hobbit would not know truly precious metals if you gave them a hoard. And I see you retrieve the key from John Brackenbrook. We have all we need. Go now and take these items to Litley, by the forge there. We will get started on the key. So you're the one Dwalin was talking about. You have the mithril, I see. And that foul key from the Angmarim. All right, then. Give them here. Now will get started on smelting down that mithril. The problem is that there will be a problem shaping this metal. Perhaps you should speak with Dwalin. I'll set the mithril in the bed of curls over here. Yeah, that won't take long. Now, there's still a problem. Shaping it. Tales tell that a special shaping hammer is needed for such fine work. I've no such hammer, though. Best tell Dwalin that if I'm to complete this work for you, I'll need a hammer. Go on now. Let him know. A mithril shaping hammer. Ah! I've seen but one of those in my entire life, and I have not seen one since. But, oh dear. To work with Mithril, you'll need a special hammer. So special, in fact, that we only ever had one here in Thorin's Hall. Thrall's hammer. 
the hammer of Thorin's grandfather, which Thrain brought here. Of course, since we never had any Mithrael to work, we never used it. When most of the Longbeards moved back to the Lonely Mountain, the hammer got left behind. And as an insult to us, I'm sure, the Dalhans took it and placed it in Skorgrim's tomb as tribute to him. At least, that is what one of them told us. We tried reclaiming that tomb, but it seems cursed. Vile things started lurking in the shadows there. I would say we should just let it lie there, but this task of yours is important enough to warrant opening the tomb again. You'll not find any dwarves willing to go in there, so you will need to retrieve the hammer yourself. The tomb lies south of here, in the Berghold. I am on my way. Dwalin, Lord of Thorin's Hall, has tasked the heroes of Eriador with recovering Thorin's hammer from the tomb of Skorgrim, where the dour hands have enshrined it as a memorial of victory over Durin's foes. <laughs> what lies ahead? The dead rise! More dead up ahead. Retrieved the hammer. It is time to return to Dwalin. Thor's hammer! I never thought to see it again. Your efforts will not be forgotten, Travian. Quick now, take the hammer to Litli, and he will get to work on your key. On my way. Ah, you found the hammer. Excellent, Travion. A chance to work Moria Silver. I never thought I'd see the day. Come now, let's get to work. Fortunately, your timing was perfect. While you were gone, I used the cast and made the key blank. I must admit, I've not been this excited in years. Here we go. There. <laughs> it's done. Mithril is quite a wonder. I've never worked with anything quite like it. A key to Khan Doom. Who would have dreamed anyone would wish to enter that accursed city? Well, <laughs> there is little else that I can do for you. You should return now to your task. Good fortune to you, Travion. And good fortune to you as well. Thank you, Little. You've been a great help. You have returned with the key. Let us hope, my friend, that the key from which this was cast was not a false guide. We can only hope. Your efforts have renewed my hope, Travian. The time has come to move against the false king. Fortunately, 
I have just received word from Ragnar that my father was being moved outside of a con doomed to Runeton. With the key you have forged, no door will be barred to us. We will never have a better chance to free my father. Are you with me? If so, speak with me again when you are ready to leave. Are you ready to leave, Travian? Who knows how long we have before my father is moved once more. We can only try our best. Using the scroll of the hill, a key to the gates of Karn Doom has been forged. Now the heroes of Eriador and Lorniel, daughter of Golodir, must pass the gates of the Iron Fortress and free the ranger from the clutches of Mordred, the steward. Good. So far we have passed unnoticed by the enemy. Now we must see if we can find my father. I have no insight into where exactly he may be. Ragnall did not tell me where in Munadin he would be found. We will have to make a careful search. Prepare yourself. Who knows what lies ahead? Tread carefully now. There, a fallen ranger. Please, do not be him. Poor soul is not my father. There's another ranger over here. Do not let this be my father. I'm sure now, this is not my father. Hold, I will open this gate. Strange, the key doesn't work here. I'm not sure why the key did not work. On the other side of the gate, there's a lever. I will wait here and watch the pass behind us. All right, I'll go have a look. Got the lever. Good work. It is very strange that the key did not work on this gate. I hope we do not encounter any other unexpected surprises as we continue on. Be on your guard. Perhaps the key will work here. Good. Intruders! Oh, 
Bring forth the giant! They must be stopped! The giant has broken free from our will! No more giants, please. He's not here. My father is not here. How could Ragnar's words have proven false? I fear that we will have to go into Gondoom itself. Come now. Gondoom lies before us. It is time to put this key to its final rest. Wait, the gate's open. Father! See, Gulladir, it is as I promised. And here is Travian and all the others you have watched for so long. You see, for a great many days, Gulladir was watched you. I told him that seeing your failures would break his will. Yet, as he saw your successes, he thought me the fool. Now, once he sees your final defeat in my hands, he shall know true despair, and in his despair he shall abandon all hope and become a servant to the Iron Crown. Ah! Loniel! Gulliver speaks through choking sobs. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. He was right. Oh, he was right. He was just playing with me. With you. He could have defeated you today if he had truly wanted to. All that time, seeing through the Palantir, I thought... I would see the victory that Loniel and you, that you would free me, would bring about the downfall of Angmar. It is all gone. All is lost. Quickly, we must leave this terrible place. Loniel, daughter of Golodir, sought to free her father from the clutches of Mordorith at Karnum. But her plan was followed, for Mordorith slew her at the gates and allowed Gulodir to go free, a broken man. What hope can Eriador have against a wraith nearly the equal of the Witch King himself? Why did you come? Why did you allow Loniel to come? I would have sooner have dwelt there in torment for a thousand years and to see my only daughter perish at the gates of that forsaken place. Here, I took this accursed key from Lorniel before we left her behind. But no, I no longer wish it. Take it! I have nothing left. Speak with someone. Speak with Laodin. 